hello creatives you're welcome to my youtube channel again this is david gladness and on this particular video tutorial i am going to be showing you on how you can customize your mock-up or edit your designs and add them to cosmetic brands cups mocks shirts caps or any type of um available templates just like this one you are seeing right on your screen making use of just your android or an iphone device right so just like you can see how this particular logo was being added to the shirt how it can be added to things like this and also how you can also create something like this making use of your smartphone now this is an animated mock-up and all you need is just your smartphone to be able to do something like this so however if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel or you are new to my youtube channel do well to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification icon so that whenever i upload any video like this you are going to be updated directly via the notification bar all right so the first thing i'm going to do now is to go to my play store right this is the app we are going to be using the name of the app is called mock it up and also you can address to it as a mock-up generator so this is what the app looks like right here so let me just move it here you can see it right here this is what the app looks like so you can just go to your play store if you are an iphone user go to your app store then search for mock it up all right just search for mock it up or just search for mock-up generator it's still the same thing so something like this mock it up that is there will not be space there will not be space in between the spellings so a light load and you can see it right here this is the app right here or you just search for mock-up generator mock-up generator right you can see it right here this is basically how the app looks like this is the logo so once you are down downloading open the app right so i'm going to be showing you in a brief how you can actually make use of the app now in your own case it might be showing you something like pro version you have to know that i am using the pro version right here so in your own case all these things might not be available for you to use for free right it might not be available for you to be able to use it for free the way it is going to be available for me right so i am using the pro version of this particular app so all you need to do now is just to select the type of template you feel like using right these are clothes you can click on this place you are saying see all these are shirts and there is a lot of templates right there is a lot of templates you can actually make use of in this particular software there is a lot of templates you can feel like oh i want to use this particular one you can see it for cosmetic brands this is a these are for bottles you can click on see all to see something very relating to the type you actually wanted you can see it right here so you can just explore the app and select the type you actually feel like yes this is what works for the type of brand i want to use it for right so when you are able to select it now all you need to do is to edit it to your own taste now when you are using it for for example you are trying to design a logo i would advise you actually make use of something transparent so let's say for example i want to use it on this particular cap all you need to do is to tap on that particular template you feel like using and allow it to download now when that is done all you need to do is to click on this place you are seeing image but before we start clicking on this place to edit it you can actually change the color of your cap or the the the, 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 the bottle or cosmetic or whatever mock-up template you are using by clicking on this place you are seeing color now i can easily change the color of the cap you can see that right i can easily change the color of the cap to whichever one i feel like yes it's actually what i want to use right so i can easily change the color to whichever one i feel like using but in this case i'm just going to use a white color so when you are done you can just tap on this arrow icon then click on this place you are seeing image right so when you click on image now you can now go to your gallery to select that particular um the, the, the particular image you want to use by clicking on this place you are seeing photos this place you have seen photo then you can now search okay this is the type of image i actually want to use or you just click on this place you are seeing all then you locate it from the gallery where the image is so um for the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to fast forward the video to select one particular image i can use all right creative so as you can see i just selected the image i actually feel like using which is actually my logo but then now to adjust in some cases you can see that this is too big of course you just need to tap on this particular icon you are seeing right here then when you you tap on it you can now reduce the size to fit into something you feel like 
yes this is actually okay you can see that you can just position it wherever you feel like positioning it and once you are cool with that then you're good to go so if you want to change the color you can just play around the color and just see something that works best for you but for the sake of this particular tutorial i'm just going to be using this particular white color or should we call it a gray color and now to be able to save your image if you feel like adjusting it more you can do that position it to wherever you want to position it then click on this save icon once you are done editing what you feel like editing you can click on this place you are seeing save right then automatically it is going to be saved to your gallery now in your own case it might be having a watermark right it might be having a watermark now i am going to be providing you with the pro version of this particular app check this particular video description box but then please note that you if you have installed this particular app directly from your play store you will not be able to install it except you have first uninstalled the one you have downloaded from the play store then this is not going to work the the, the pro version of the app i am going to be providing for you in the video description box is not going to be working for iphone users it's only going to work for android users now this is where how your own is going to look like you can see there is a kind of mock-up around this place right there's a kind of mock-up mock-up that is showing a watermark so it is because i am using the pro version of the app that is why i'm able to turn it off in your own case once you click on this button to turn it off it is going to ask you to pay but then it is because i am using the pro version that is why i'm able to turn it off now to save it just click on save obviously it is that simple now how to create a static mock-up like this particular one i showed you right this particular one we are still going to be using the same app right but then this time around we are going to be looking for a 3d um we are going to be looking for a 3d mock-up so let's just scroll down or better see you can just click on this place you are saying search to search for the type you are looking for you can see that you can search for the type of mock-up you are actually looking for so i'm looking for the 3d type so i'll just scroll down and just look it where i can see 3d you can see these are for jar cosmetics and so on so you can just use anyone you feel like using right so i'm looking for something animated I'm looking for something actually animated All right, this is for mugs and cup. Look at it, 3D model. You can see this, 3D model. So all I need to do is just to click on this place you are saying see all. So you cannot locate the one you feel like, yes, this is actually um, the one I feel like using. You understand? So you can just scroll down. So for the one I use for um, that particular, the, um, this thing, I think this was, I used this particular one, right? So let's just use something a bit different from the first one. Okay, let's check this out now just like i have explained in the first process it is that simple all you need to do just click on this place you are seeing image right here now instead of me going to select a new image from my gallery i can easily select some of the project i have used before so i'll just select this particular logo again and let's let me forward it here and you can see i can easily reduce the size position it wherever i want to position it and let's check it out you can see it's right So it is actually this simple. It is actually this simple. So you can tap on it, reduce the size, position it wherever you feel like. Yes, this is where I want it to be. And once you are done, just click on display icon to check it out. And if you are okay with it, just tap on this save icon and click on this place you are saying save. All right. So once it is downloading, you have successfully done a 3D mock-up for your design so thank you for sticking around to the end of this video tutorial please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up if it was helpful and do all to comment and subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you for sticking around once again see you on the next video